I'm just putting together a video about a fire I had um, under my bed um, after some wires had um, caught a light and it happened um, a while ago but I'm just compiling um, the video now and I just thought that I'd do a little intro video um, just explaining the circumstances behind it. Um, and it's only because I, I'm just going through the videos and the, the photos that I took just to explain uh, what happened. I was camping out in the bush and there was no charge. Um, for days on end and you'll see that in a video that I'll put up and every time that I tried to put on a circuit the so I've got a red arc system in my caravan and every time that I tried to to start a circuit or turn it on the system would fault and it would come up as a bad connection and it would just reset itself so it wasn't getting any charge and I was just wondering why and it wasn't getting charged through the solar and I've got 1230 uh, watts of solar um, and I couldn't, so I couldn't get any solar. I couldn't get any charge through the through the car connection. And I was just wondering why I couldn't get any um, any charge. When I say I couldn't get any charge, I was getting very minute charge, probably five amps. Um, five to eight amps something like that but it was absolute bugger all um and it was happening for for days anyway um i ended up ringing red arc and they put me through the the fault finder and um everything that they could and everything that that they put me through to, I had actually tried myself, but they also tried a few other things, and none of that worked. So I checked the terminals; everything was fine. I checked all the fuses; every all the fuses were fine. So they ended up sending me to an auto electrician at Tamora. I was so lucky that Matt from Fritz Brothers. The Tamora, as soon as he pulled the conduit apart, he found the problem straight away. And it turned out to be a bad connection in the cabling. And the reason I just wanted to explain what happened is if you have, if anyone has a similar fault to what I do. Well, this could be another issue that, that you have. So you could do the, the fault find missions, but don't rule out that you've just had a fire. The van at, at the time was only uh, four months old, I think it was. It was almost brand new. And um, and I'll... I'll obviously put the photos up and and the video of the damage but i thank my lucky stars that nothing serious actually happened uh to the to the van um and to the ute that i um tow the the vehicle with thanks again to matt from fritch brothers um, and the guys at Fritch Brothers for doing everything that they did um, on the day that I, I rang up and um, they, they, they were busy 
um, and the guys there were were absolutely unreal um, to get me back on the road again. Good afternoon. I'm at Tamora at Fritz Brothers. If you ever need any auto electrical issues uh, on your car, your caravan, your truck, whatever you require, don't hesitate in giving these guys a call. Uh, the phone number's there. Um, 026977 1391 <laughs> um, in Tamora. If you need to travel to come here, they will look after you. Um, as you all know, I had um, uh, the caravan issue uh, this morning. I'm going to put up a photo of what they found and I am so lucky to be alive. Matt did an amazing job. He found the fault in no time, um, told him what happened and bingo, you just found it. So what I did, I've, I asked them if they could um, replace all the fuses to neaten it all up. They did it. There was no fuss, no questions asked. It was just, yep, we'll do it. Um, and Matt has done an absolutely amazing job. Um, they have a mobile service as well. They've got a shop here uh, with a lot of, uh, with a, a, a lot of, uh, stuff that you can buy um, and they they do canopies they do all your works um, highly recommended I spoke to people um, in the town and um, they're highly reputable in um, tomorrow